everybody, it's Lisa. I am so excited. I have my friend here that I met in, believe it or not, Children's Church. Yes. We weren't going to say that, but we kind of, and we kind of <laughs> bounce off of each other's personality. And uh, I mentioned to her, she was telling me one day that she was looking for a job. So for those of you who want a smart woman to come work for your company, this is Amanda, okay? <laughs> I'm about to tell you what her degrees are. Now, when, when she told me what her degrees were, I, I asked her, I'm like, well, then, why? Because she was cleaning houses at the time. Still. Nothing wrong with it. <laughs> nothing wrong with it. But to tell you the truth, when you know what she does, um, not sure that cleaning houses is going to be her suitability thing, although I'm sure she's going to want to clean her own every now and then. Maybe. So, okay, Amanda. <laughs> First of all, I want to thank you for being here. Um, I appreciate it. I gave her a volunteer opportunity because as soon and as I, I appreciate heard, you asking. Yes, because you know what? I don't like this stuff, and y'all know me. I'm an A type. She's studious. She did a PowerPoint <laughs> for that. So I'm not even kidding. And she does it for her Sunday school class too. And the kids actually get it. They do. They love my PowerPoints. <laughs> so, so they're going to get a clean thing on organization. Yes. But anyway, so let me just ask you, um, are you affiliated in any way with Innovative? Not other than purchasing the CBD patches. Okay. So that's good. Yeah. Now, <laughs> I'm not even sure I can say all this right, so let's get... Um, you have an impressive list of degrees. Well, thank you. It was a fun job to accomplish <laughs> yeah well you have four children I believe. yes yeah so she was very busy during this time but um okay so you have an associate in science an associate in clinical wow. laboratory and a bachelor of biological science in biomedicine yes okay so for those of us who are um in the layman's term can you please explain what that actually does mean i think we're gonna so, have to cuddle up a little closer here what this degree actually entails is 14 different areas of the biological sciences from ecology all the way up to mycology anatomy you name it i've studied it um the We've studied everything from moleculars all the way to the modalities of how diseases come about and how we can help control them. And I just um, took on some different research projects through Coastal College, studying lionfish and actually extracting DNA from our water samples in order to discover if we have lionfish in our area, which is a really cool study, which means I absolutely love research. So when she presented this to me, I said, yeah, this will be great fun. And so that's where we're going with. Okay, and I'm going to wave at these people to get this off the screen because it's... Hello, There people. we go. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi, Liana. Liana is my soon-to-be niece from Scotland. Oh, how so sweet. So thank you for tuning in. Okay, so um, thank you for explaining that. So you have a lot of experience with medical. However, as neither one of us is a doctor, uh, we do not make medical claims of cures or anything Correct. else. We are simply going off Amanda's degree. So, um, let's get started. Now, I did have a mild few questions because I am not the studious one. Well, I am, but not, <laughs> not degreed one. Okay, so I had a question on natural vitamins versus synthetics. Can you please this explain? This is such an interesting question. I'm really glad you asked about it. So, when you have your natural, it is coming straight from nature. It's created by God and designed for our bodies. Where once mm. you start dealing with a synthetic material, it's created in a lab. And it has a different conformation that breaks down differently in our body. And being able to use it entirely, it's not going to happen. Because it's going to wind up leaving extra carbons, extra hydrogens that wind up turning into free radicals. Free radicals are cancer causing. So okay. we want these natural products that Innovative has infused with this awesome nanotechnology into this patch. Right. So just to be clear... The patch that I'm, I think it's this one. <laughs> one I'm of the wearing. many. <laughs> yeah, one of the many. You can see I'm kind of patched up. Um, has the natural vitamins that yes. are easier for us to absorb. Absolutely. What happens when you go to the store and pull a vitamin off a shelf in a pill form? Another great question. So when you're actually taking these pills, you're wasting your money, bottom line, in my opinion, and from the research I've done from Coastal College. What happens is when you take this pill, one, it, they are not all FDA regulated at all, so each pill will contain a different amount of each mineral or vitamin or element that was placed into the compound. 
Then they have also included possibly vegan material to help hold it together or some gelatin material, which is actually made from cartilage. Fun to know. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Gelatin's not my favorite. Okay. Um, however, there's so many things that they pack into these vitamins to hold them together. And it, once you take them, your body's going to process it and actually eat it up in your stomach due to the high contents of acids. It's not even being absorbed through your intestines. If there is an absorption rate, it's going to be very minimal. So you're still not receiving your full daily allowance. Okay, so even if it says you are, you're really... Yeah. And that probably is why when you go to the bathroom about an hour later, you notice there's a There's a vitamin color. tinge. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas with the patches, I can say this from taking them, I have never seen that and I've never had anybody tell me that does take them. And about a 60 to 70 percent. I think they're, um, they actually have an absorption rate from this from what my research was is about 80 percent of the absorption rate is utilized. Okay. Yep. So that might be why we're feeling a little better than Absolutely. We were when we were taking the pills. Okay. <laughs> Definitely. All right. Now I'm going to let her take it away and I'm only going to interrupt minimally because I never promise that I won't interrupt. So I? what I'm going to do is run through the different vitamins that have been infused in these patches and explain to you why they're essential to be in this patch and in the milligram that they're asking to do. So vitamin A, we'll start with that because it's the first letter of the alphabet, right? <laughs> <laughs> So, vitamin A is extremely important for your skin, your mucous membranes, our immune system. It is important for our eye health and our skin. And, and, um, it produces, it comes from the beta carotene. Beta carotene is our natural vitamin. It comes straight from the earth. And it is converted to the retinol. That is the part of the molecule that our body will use as an antioxidant. Does, an antioxidant is used by our body through the thyroid to reduce the amount of free radicals. So, you're also protecting your thyroid by adding these antioxidants at this great rate. Um, some evidence does suggest that when um, you take a, a good amount of the vitamin A, it helps with your cognitive abilities. It is, um, there are some more researches being done for its ability to help with Alzheimer's and helping to decline those effects. That would be very good. Wouldn't it? Here's another thing that's really cool. Those who have a good intake of your beta carotene, you can also improve your lung strength as you age and your, your lung strength will actually become better, surprisingly. I think that's so fascinating. So we're going to move on to vitamin C. We all know what vitamin C is, comes from oranges, we love them, yes. But do we all know that it was? it's actually called absorbic acid, which is the natural form. Once again, important to go natural. Mm -hmm. um, all of these are, the vitamin C is good for your collagen, which helps with the elasticity in your skin. Mm -hmm. You've got good collagen, then you're not gonna have the wrinkly, saggy, crepey body. <laughs> I love nice? that body. <laughs> I don't. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> so also, something we may not know, vitamin C is so important for your iron absorption and for your vitamin D. Vitamin D works with the vitamin C as a compound in order to produce another enzymatic reaction that your body needs. And with all that said, it is going to improve your immune system, wound healing, maintenance of your cartilage and bones and teeth super important here's another one that's really cool it's also a natural antihistamine thank you because <laughs> i can't take the uh store-bought uh, antihistamine it makes me it so speeds, sleepy oh it speeds my heart right up and i can't that's control scary it. so um i cannot take that so when i got the immune patch which also it's has very a bunch it, yes. of it in it. We're going to get to that one on the next video. Yeah, we'll do Super that on the exciting. next video. But this vitamin C really, really got me through allergies, guys. So if you got the sneezies or anything like that, go ahead and dose it up. Yeah. Um, so I did mention the vitamin D, which is the next one we're going to talk about. And again, it does work in importance with the vitamin C as well as calcium. So vitamin D is going to produce your strong bones. It's super important for your skeletal strength, your teeth, your muscles. Um, and the benefits, obviously, include 
um, increasing and, and helping eliminate the decline of your bone density. It's going to help improve your brain health, strengthen that immune system, and the best part, vitamin D actually entices weight loss. Thank you. <laughs> Woohoo! And um, interesting enough, there are some studies. It's not completely um, like slapping me in the face saying this is what's happening, but some studies have showed with a proper amount of vitamin D that it can help reduce your autoimmune diseases. No, they're not going to go away, but it can help in, in, in your daily life. Reducing things, yes. Yes, and, that and the inflammation. Important. It helps with inflammation, which it causes a lot of our problems. Yeah. Can you elaborate? So, inflammation is actually the first stage of a, a sickness coming on. Whether it's a broken bone or whether it's a cold, your body responds by putting out um, your white blood cells, which is a response to an inflammation. So you want to reduce that because all it's doing is constricting your vessels and your and your muscles and having that extra uh, swelling in your body. It's just not good for everything. You're already in a compact area here. There's a lot going on. <laughs> Don't need any swelling there. No, no. So... We're going to talk about vitamin D. This is one that was really interesting because, or excuse me, vitamin E. My apologies. So, this vitamin E, this particular formula that they have put in here is so cool because it is the natural form that you very rarely find in the commercial businesses. They are using the synthetic form, the DL-alpha. This form is the D-alpha tocoprofol. And it is what your body wants. Um, vitamin E is so important for your immunity, skin, and eye health. And also in some recent years, they have discovered that it is a, an important antioxidant. Um, and again, antioxidants protects against cell damage, reducing your um, the possibilities of cancers. Um, you don't want free radicals. You don't want that. These antioxidants just kind of eat them up and help you get rid of them. And the free radical actually comes from the synthetics because the conformations, you have X number of carbons attached. Mm -hmm. Our body has to break one of those carbons off, which now that's a free carbon floating in your body. Ooh, you don't want that. Good. No, because no, now this is a free radical carbon, and it's going to attach to a molecule and change its conformation, whether it be one of your proteins which is going to change that molecule and its function. That's where cancer begins. Oh, I did not know that. Okay, yes. so we don't want cancer, definitely. No. So, now we're going to move on and talk about K12, or K2. Two. <laughs> and I would love to tell you what the word is. Menaquinone 7. I hope I didn't chop that too badly for anybody who may know what that is. Um point is this is a potassium and it works directly with your vitamin D if you haven't noticed every one of these vitamins and minerals and elements are gonna work synergically which means they work together they have to work together and they have to have the right dosages and what's interesting I got to bring this up now because I don't want to forget okay. when you look at your patches and you see the milligrams that's actually in, in, infused in them mm -hmm. it's actually some of them are lower than your daily allowance should be let me explain why, because you want to know about fortified. Mm -hmm. The government has decided that we as a group of people don't intake the proper vitamins and minerals, so they fortified our food with these vitamins and minerals. Yeah. So Innovative took that into consideration. They're not going to let us overdose because there are some toxics of overdosing on vitamin A um, and vitamin E. All of your lipid-based um, molecules you can overdose on your water okay. soluble you're gonna excrete anything you don't use you're gonna excrete it and that's what I found super interesting about how they calculated according to what the government's feeding us they made sure that there's no overdoses Wow. I love that. Well, thank you, Innovative, and thank you, Amanda, for explaining that. Right. I did not know that. Um, so, back to the K-12, or K-2. I'm, I'm trying to add a one where it doesn't belong. <laughs> so, it is, we've been doing a lot of studies as far as the K-2 on heart disease. And a lot of these studies have suggested that the high intake may reduce many of our heart diseases. 
Um, it also increases our bone health. It can, in some preliminary researches, mind you, preliminary, um, they do indicate that the K-12 may aid in some treatments of different forms of cancers, along with the medical, um, the chemotherapies and things like that, okay. that this can actually help improve the immune health while we're ripping their immune health apart. Okay, well that sounds good. Right. Unfortunately, in order to work with cancer, you have to kill the person, almost. I mean, it's like bringing yeah. them down to no immunity in order to kill that piece of cancer. Right. And to for somebody who's going through these treatments to wear one of these complete patches could indicate giving them those the, the things that they need to prevent from being so... Um, uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Um, so susceptible, sub yeah. yeah, susceptible, immune deficient, and with coronavirus running around right now, anything for immune health. I'm all about it. I, I'm not, let's do it. <laughs> so, moving on, we have our whole list of vitamin Bs. I kind of put this toward this area because vitamin B so important, and there's so many of them. So we've got the vitamin B one, two, three, six, and twelve. Um, there's other two others, but they go by different names. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, so our B complex, we'll just put them all together. Um, huge importance for energy. Uh, their efficiency for the enzyme uh, reactions that are needed in order to produce your DNA um, synthesis to um, reconstruct your me cell membranes, uh, which is so important to the cell health, which is important to your body's health. Right, and you said keeping metabolism in the correct manner. What would you yes. characterize that as? So, in order to keep the metabolism running, it, it's basically your mat metabolism slows down, speeds up, and it's all based on your diet, the energy you use. So, say you're eating um, McDonald's and you're not exercising. Your metabolism is going to be in the toilet. Okay, so... With that said, what happens when you have a very low metabolism, you gain weight, you have no energy, you don't feel good, and it can lead to depression when yeah. you don't feel yeah, good. Yeah, I've heard that. So, having your metabolics in the proper manner is so important to be able to get up and meet the day in full force, effectively. And with you being depressed and stuff, how likely is that to happen? Nope. I'm not getting out of bed if I'm not feeling good. <laughs> yeah. So, um, would you say that a lack of vitamins has a huge impact on life overall and productivity? Oh, most definitely. And I already knew this, but doing the research on this particular patch really put it in a lightning form for me. Really? It did. Hmm. You know, um, I enjoyed doing this particular project because now I'm looking at my food a little bit differently as well. Okay, good. You I know, guess that, that's a good thing. It is. And so that's why it's so important to understand what you're eating, what you're taking, and what you're putting in your body, and how your body's going to use it or not or use it. Or can your body use it. Or not use it. Because exactly. Because absorption is important. You can take exactly. it, and if it just runs straight through you, it so doesn't do any good. So when you take the multivitamin pill, you're only having an absorption rate of about 20, somewhere between 20 and 15% of what you took. Okay. Here, we're looking at That's about 80%. That's from what I've heard. But right. Okay. Well, I am giving them some generosity. I promise okay. you that. Yeah. But here, we're up to 80% of being everything efficiently utilized. Efficiently? Okay. So, are you saying even when you get the pill that it's not being efficient? efficient? It's not efficient because they're using synthetic material. They're still producing those free radicals, and they have nothing to eat it up with without the antioxidants attached. Ah. So, maybe the thing on the store shelf should... Stay off. <laughs> Definitely stay on the shelf. Um, so, our vitamin Bs. We have thiamine. We have roboflavin. They are essential for proper nerve and muscle functions. They're um, also another metabolic carbohydrate. Or, excuse me. It actually helps meta metabolize. Metabolize? <laughs> yes, metabolize. She, she just got back from vacation, y'all. Cut her some slash. I really enjoyed some springs. We're going back. <laughs> yeah. So, yes, it does help metabolize your carbohydrates, which we are not supposed to really be eating a lot of carbohydrates. So let's add something that's going to help break it down faster and put it into a usable form, not a fat form. And that was the other thing. So when you have the vitamins that your body requires, okay, 
within the allowance that you are supposed to have, everything's efficiently working, your body's not starving anymore. Okay. If what your body's not starving, you no longer are storing fat. You're utilizing the fat and now producing more energy. Okay. So guess what? You're going to start losing weight. Just having the proper amount of vitamins on a daily basis. You can lose weight and feel great. Well, that is actually our motto. Actually, Stop. <laughs> Tea, but yes, give me thank some you. of that one. No, she didn't. She didn't know that. I did not um, know that. But I think also That's you awesome. had mentioned about cutting the cravings when that happens. Yes, it cuts the cravings because your body's not starving and thinking, "I need this, I need that." Your body's automatically going to starve for sugar and for salt because those are your two main energy forms. Okay. So any item, French fries, potato chips. Tell me you don't crave them. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. when your body is in perfect working order, you don't so much have those cravings. Yes, you still enjoy them, but you're not going to eat the whole bag now. Which is always good not to eat the whole bag. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to say hi to Martin and Joy and William and everybody else out there. Thank you for watching. Isn't she doing a great job? Can y'all leave her some comments, please? Thanks. So, um, we're going to move into the vitamin B3. B3 is one of the few B vitamins that the body can produce on its own. Therefore, that means you have to take in a certain amount of B3. Okay. Because you don't make it. There's nothing your body can do with it, without it. Um, so, you got B6, which is, you got three different types of B6, and they're kind of interesting words to pronounce. So, I'm going to move on, if you don't mind. <laughs> But the bottom line is these are your amino acids, hemoglobin, which is your blood, red blood cells, and they synthesize the neurotransmitter serotonin, dopamine, norepinephrine, and maintains the blood glucose level. So if you don't see how important your vitamin Bs are, might want to watch the video one more time. Okay. I had a question. You yes. had written there was a happy hormone in there, and I think, did I just see it there? Yes, that is our dopamine and norepinephrine. Oh, yes, I thought that you part. had another one in there, too. There will be another one. It's going to um, be... Uh, oh, sorry, did I jump the gun? That's okay, because what that's going to do is another vitamin or mineral is going to actually trigger that. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know we had triggers. Yes, absolutely. In fact, these vitamins trigger those reactions. Wow. And that's what's so cool about how it's designed. Um, so your B9, folic acid, must have, especially if we're having babies. Very, very, very important to your brain health. Um, it is 100% involved in your DNA synthesis and protein synthesis. Therefore, it is essential for early stages of pregnancy and it for the good health of your baby. Um, and there is a synthetic form, but... Innovative doesn't use the synthetic form, sorry, but not sorry. <laughs> so, again, we've also got for the adults, as we see that how essential it is for the babies, well, it's also important for us as adults. Um, the folate helps support the adrenal function. Adrenal function has to do with your kidney function and how your body maintains hormones and how it works with the pituitary gland. Your adrenal works with the pituitary. They trigger different hormones to make you hungry, not hungry. Very interesting. A lot of neurology involved in that discussion. Probably have to go into a different video to go deeper if yes. they want to know. Yeah. Um, if y'all want to go deeper, put in the comments deeper. deeper. <laughs> you are so awesome. <laughs> I just love it. Um, so now we're going to move on to the vitamin B12. Methylcobalamin. Um, this again is the natural form. And it is essential for your red blood cell health. And it is deliver, which is obviously important for delivering oxygen to all of your cells. Again, this B12 mm -hmm. is going to be hugely successful for your DNA synthesis. Um, and it is imperative for normal functioning of your nervous system. And it is a huge production of energy. Um, in a randomized trend trial that I had um, looked at on Google, Sli uh, Google Scholars, um, there was 200 patients with depression low normal levels and they were given supplements mind you they were actually given the synthetic supplements please keep that in mind but there was improvement in their depressive symptoms when adding the standard treatment 
Well, that's pretty good. So you're saying this uh, vitamin B12 assisted with depression. It did. And what's interesting on this particular study is they were using the synthetic form. There's no study using the natural form. So in your estimation, which one I'm going to say that you're going to do a whole lot better and see more improvement when it comes to depression using the innovative natural form. Okay. Well, that's good to know. So if you know somebody who's depressed, please... This is going to be so good. How many of these vitamins are making you work together? I mean, it's just, it's so fascinating. So now we're going to talk about biotin. I'm sure we've all heard about biotin. Again, we have the natural form, the D form. We also have the L, which is our synthetic. And that is just talking about the conformation of the actual molecule. And when it's turned in a different conformation, it cannot be broken down by our body in a proper way. Okay. And that's where we're going to talk about here with this biotin. So... Biotin is also known as vitamin H. Did you know that? No, I didn't. I know thought that, that was actually interesting. So I was just reading the slide. It says form is it's vitamin H, but it's one of the B complex vitamins. Right. So it's pretty cool. Um, and again, so your biotin is highly important for extremely healthy hair. It can actually in, encourage regrowth. I'm not going to say that if you're bald, you're going to get your hair back. But if you have thinning hair due to a lack of vitamin... I've already had that happen. My eyebrows were thinning and they came, <laughs> they've come back. Yeah. So, I, I mean, you're, you can yeah. experience... You've experienced it. So, you can sit here and say on this end of the level, my hair is getting thick. I'm looking good. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And I can look at you and say, you're looking good. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> so, here's another really cool thing about biotin. It is hugely important for eye health, liver in your liver occurs fatty uh, fatty liver disease, which means your body has done, stored all the fat that it can store, and now it's storing more in your liver, which is very, very, very unhealthy because now your liver cannot filter what it needs to filter correctly, mm-hmm. and you've got problems. So just to know that having the proper amount of biotin in your system could help reduce fatty liver, liver disease Super I actually cool. was diagnosed with that, and I did not know that until I read your slide. So I was very thankful to see that. Right? You know, How cool! With this, yeah, because the doctor was like, "You need to lose some weight," and and I had lost weight from that time. But when we lose weight, we're not losing the viscous weight. The viscous weight is your deep fat. When we're losing weight based off of exercise and diet, we're actually losing the outer layer of our fat. Mm-hmm. We still have that inner layer that some of these vitamin minerals are actually going to um, target. Which directly. is what some of them are in the Ignite patch. Yes, we do have yes. that, that it targets the fat. And it's so but, cool. But just having the proper vitamins and minerals can do this. And a proper balance can do the same thing. So maybe we'll have to decide talk about the combination of the and two. And that's what we're going to do. Video. Yes, okay. that's what we're moving to, definitely. And what it looks like to use these in a combination and how that's so beneficial at the end of the day. Right, and I love the way you're explaining this because I couldn't have never done it the way she did. Thank so you. Um, here's another really cool fun fact. Biotin can help regulate blood sugar. And a lot of diabetics are... We have a huge population in the diabetic uh, community, you know, so anything to help reduce these blood sugars is great. So we've got our B5 and calcium that we're going to talk about here. It's called pantothenic acid, Mm -hmm. and this is used for treating dietary deficiencies, acne, alcoholism. I'm not going to tell you that it's going to cure your alcoholism by any means, nor your acne. However, it improves the cravings. For certain things because alcohol actually breaks down to sugar your body craves sugar mm-hmm. so once you've started this process of drinking your body needs that alcohol this could help by reducing the need for it and because it's providing that target okay so you don't crave it right I hear it's you. Okay. so cool and how does it work with the acne so it actually, because it's so great with um, helping with cell damage, that your um, because acne is an infection, mm-hmm. that it's actually reducing the pore sizes because it's pore, larger pores are due to damaged skin. Uh, so you're help reducing these pore sizes, then you have less chance of dirt entering those pores to cause the acne. 
just because of the pore size. Okay, and it's all from a, did you hear in. that? So, <laughs> now, there's not a whole lot of study, but we do know that hyperactive disorder can be um, reduced by using high doses of um, B-complex or B5. B5 is a water-soluble, so it is not a toxic. You can have high and then still excrete what and you don't still use. Excrete. Yes, so that's, that's a good one. So... Um, they also say due to the ability of its cellular function and um, reducing cell damage, it, it's been found to help with yeast infections, heart failure, carpal tunnel syndrome, respiratory disorder, celiac disease, colitis, conjunctivitis, convulsions, cystics or the cysts, dandruff, depression, dia, uh, dia, the diabetic nerve pain. Gray hair? Gray hair reduces oh, your gray hair growth I because hope so. <laughs> it's reducing the cellular damage. Woohoo! That's all the world is about. Reduce that cellular damage and you'll live forever. Not really, <laughs> but you'll feel better living. Okay. Um, another cool thing is it can also, with the B5 at this um, particular milligrams per day, help reduce insomnia. Irritability. Yeah, we, we don't need cool. any more irritability. Thank you very yeah. much. I think we've had quite enough of that lately. I know. Everybody seems so angry. Get happy. Take a patch. Okay. Good sales, <laughs> Yay! So we're going to move on to calcium. The particular form that they used in here is the calcium citrate. The reason they use the calcium citrate is the citrate actually allows the calcium's absorption. Without it, it's kind of useless. Um, the calcium, as we know, is really important for bone health, but it's also important for normal functioning nerves, your muscles. Not having enough calcium um, will weaken your bones. Therefore, um, you'll have a higher chance of having osteoporosis or other bone diseases, making you with weak, brittle bones as you age. Yeah, um, probably why the older people have to be so careful when definitely and stuff it, like that. Yeah, definitely. Um, so having the right amount of calcium is so important for building and keeping these strong bones. Um, calcium is in the form of two percent. It forms two percent of our total body weight. That's how much calcium our body has and needs. Yes. Do you think we actually obtain that in a daily diet? Oh, we really don't. I should. Well, I, I'm pretty sure I don't. Yeah, <laughs> I we can really speak for don't. myself. I don't. I, I do. don't. I know I don't. Well, but, until now, because I have the patch, but I see what you're saying. Yes, and um, so there's also some trace minerals that we're going to start talking about. These trace minerals can um, also prevent some circulatory system um, defaults, and also help prevent life-threatening hemorrhage. Uh, hemorrhages. So, for example, if you go into surgery and you come out, there's a, a possibility that you could hemorrhage due to whatever. Yes. Your skin's thin. The doctor forgot to sew an extra stitch. Whatever the case. This is actually really important for after surgery to have okay. a nice level of. All right. Um, so, now we're going to talk about iron. Iron bisoglycinate. This is actually... Iron combined with a particular form of a glycerol molecule. The two together allows the body to, perp to actually use it. Okay. A separate, they're not usable. Oh, so it's useless if you just again, put the one. Yeah. yeah. So again, they combined to that. They added them together and, and allowed it to for our body to process. And I'm just like... Is that typical? No. Not that I found. I did a little bit of research. I didn't do a whole lot of deep digging on that, but I've only found that Innovative and one other product uses the bisoglinite. Okay, to combine to make it usable. Right. And look at that. Um, it can cause... Wait a minute. I'm looking Whoops. over here. Okay. Yeah. The, about the constipation, the yes. gastrointestinal yes. stuff. What is going on there? Okay, so when you have this pill that you're gonna go buy from the store because your doctor said you're low on iron. It is in the ferrous sulfate form. This causes gastrointestinal problems. Some of the food we already eat does that alone. We don't need help. 
No. Those problems <laughs> include nausea. Anybody who's taken a, an iron pill can relate to this. Yeah. Vomiting, constipation, diarrhea, stool ch color changes, and odor. Oh, These convictional <laughs> forms of iron are so poorly absorbed. Um, using this form, it is an optimal way to supplement your um, iron. It is essential for your red blood cells in order to carry the oxygen to your cells. And it helps fight fatigue. Well, I like that. Now, I have a, a cool little graft here that I had brought in to compare the furous sulfate with the glycinate. So you have the sulfate here, which denotes a range of salts. Then you have your glycinate, which is actually a glycerol form. There's nothing that's going to be unused. You've got your sulfate. It is less absorbed and comparatively to our highly absorbed. Okay. Furous sulfate is highly toxic. Okay. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. It's not. All right. So with that said, I think Innovative has done a lot of research before putting these patches out on the market. And I'm yeah. really impressed. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. Um, so, did you know that our body contains more phosphorus than any other mineral aside from calcium? Phosphorus. No, I did not know phosphorus. I always thought it was that stuff that you mine. Or yeah, <laughs> no doubt. I, I, right. So, phosphorus is important for building strong teeth, managing how your body stores and uses energy. Uh, stores. Stores as fat or uses energy? Well, it manages it. it. Yes. Okay, so the phosphorus manages whether you use fat or energy. I think I'm going to go with using the energy yes. and having the fat. And we okay. don't get enough phosphorus because we don't know we need it. Well, we do now. Yes, we do. And it says it also reduces muscle pain after yes. exercise. It actually, the reason it reduces the muscle pain is because it connects with the lactic acid that your muscles have just produced and helps excel it. Expel it. Expel it. Okay. <laughs> excel and expel have two different names. They there. do. Don't two they? different meanings. It's kind of like my sign language. This is dance. This is meaning. <laughs> <There you, laughs> they look a lot alike, but they're, but they're not. Alike. <laughs> okay. So, with that said, I think that's super great that it is going to help reduce your muscle pain after exercise. Being able to eat up that lactic acid is also going to give room for bone, the muscle strength. Ooh. And because yeah. you're hurting. You're not going to go work out tomorrow because you hurt. So, you kind of lost what you just did. Yeah. Oh. So. You don't want to lose that. Right. I mean, why would you want to lose what you did? Here's another cool fun fact. It helps filter out the waste from your kidneys. We want high-functioning kidneys. We want them to do their job. Right. In order to keep your kidneys clean, you have to have a phosphorus material in it. Wow. Okay. Yep. Also, it will help helps with your body growth. It maintains and repairs tissues and cells. Get this. It's also a huge important factor for our DNA. It actually is part of our DNA molecule. In our strands, it holds them together in the chains oh, along with everything. You okay. have your phosphorus so, tails, ah, and it's everything works together. Together, okay. Um, and of course, without DNA, we have no genetic building blocks, therefore we have no life. Well, I think I'd like to have my life. I like it too, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Most of the time, so, anyway. So, with phosphorus, the importance is going to go beyond what I just said. It is going to help balance the use of your vitamin Bs, your Ds, as well as other minerals such as iodine, magne magnesium, uh, and zinc. <laughs> Starting to tongue tie. <laughs> so, with that said, all of these being maintained helps maintain a regular heartbeat and facilitates nerve con uh, conduction. So it keeps the nerves firing correctly. Correctly. Uh, would you say that that might help somebody with perhaps a nerve disease like Absolutely. fibromyalgia? It very much could help reduce their symptoms. Okay. Not going to cure them, as we already know. But goodness, wouldn't it be nice to have a reduction in a symptom that you just... Oh. The, yeah, the, and the pain... It uh, also... The other, um, the, they've also said that the phosphorus being included can help with some Parkinson disorder as far as the neurology part, you know, with the shaking. Okay. Um, okay. It doesn't fix it, but it reduces it. Allows people to feel more 
themselves. Which is More, always nice. Yeah. Uh, isn't it? So now we're going to talk about the iodine. In this form, they've used it as the potassium iodine, which is a salt attached to your iodine, which also reduces the toxic level of the iodine itself. Iodine can be very toxic on your thyroid. However, yeah. your thyroid needs it. Yeah, you do. So you, figure you the odds. That out. Yeah. <laughs> Too much is horribly bad. So with the potassium iodide, this allows it to only use what it needs. And expel the rest. Correct. Okay, got it. So, because potassium is a water-soluble mo molecule. Okay, thank you for clarifying that yes. because I was wondering if it was one of the other ones yep. you said, but you said we didn't. they uh, accounted for everything and didn't allow you to... They overdose, did. But. They really did. I mean, this has just been a fascinating study. So, your potassium iodine um, will help reduce the radio radioactive iodine particles that okay. your thyroid is storing. Which your thyroid needs iodine, but there's also radioactive iodine there too. Yeah, probably don't. Yeah, that. so we want that to go away. Yeah, and so, right, we don't want our um, thyroid absorbing that radioactive iodine that, unfortunately, our government has placed in our food somehow. And uh, manganese, not magnesium, but manganese. Um, no, this is magnesium. I read that wrong. My. Goodness. I was going to say something, but I figured you'd figure it out. I did. Thank you. <laughs> Magnesium. So essential for increasing your energy, better sleep, reducing muscle aches. Um, it's just a fascinating way of how this... Um, Magnesium activates adenosine triso, trifosphate, phosphate, Ooh, which is Lord. ATP. ATP. A lot of our high school students know all about ATP. It is our... Okay, at the end of a glycotic reaction, you're going to have ATP. That is your form of energy. Oh, okay. Yes. So that is what this molecule ATP does, is okay. without the magnesium, it's not going to be able to activate it. Okay. Well, that sounds good because you definitely, definitely need that. Definitely activity. need that energy. <laughs> so as far as better sleep, having... Um, those who have deficient magnesium may have issues sleeping or have been diagnosed with insomnia but may not even be aware that they're deficient in magnesium okay um it's just not something all of our doctors readily check it's a trace mineral this is one that eh, it, not a big deal but it really is yeah a lot of doctors i've found are not necessarily well versed in um they really are vitamins and minerals yeah they they take for granted the fact of the the pharmaceutical companies and productions of the synthetics uh, yeah. And it's because it's cheaper. Oh. Using the natural products is not always the cheapest route. It takes a lot more work to extract natural. It does. To keep yeah. it in its form without letting it break down. Yeah, I would imagine that would require a lot of equipment. It does. And, and, and it takes a lot of research and to even get it to that point. So... I wasn't involved in that research, sadly. <laughs> but so, I bet you'd love to be. I would. You I need just to figure love out it. what kind of a job are you looking for. Um, I have a couple of resumes thrown out over different colleges up the coast in um, some of their research departments. There's uh, research going on for red tide, lionfish. There's an algae bloom happening over in the Gulf of Mexico, along with the orange trees at Florida Groves. They are sick and dying. Mm, sounds like somebody's got some traveling on her mind, huh? Ooh, that's a plan. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, if you know of anybody that would like to hire a good researcher. I'm on it. Um, so we're going to continue with magnesium because this is such an important mineral for your body. Okay, let's have it. Yeah. It improves heart health, controls migraines, improves digestion, and it generally brings on some relaxation. Um... So those who are deficient, it can actually trigger 22 different medical conditions, ranging from anxiety, insomnia, type 2 diabetes, and liver disease. In fact, without my magnesium, our bodies would shut down. Yeah, it sounds like it. And for our um, medical line not to appreciate the value of magnesium, it's kind of disturbing. Yes, but then again, some of the other things that have happened medically wise can disturbing have that problem <laughs> as well. But you know what? We are here to help. Thank you. Amen. Yeah. Okay, so we've got um, the zinc. 
In this form, we're using the zinc citrate. Um, again, we've got it attached to a citrate molecule in order to help with the absorption and efficiency use of the zinc. Zinc is an essential element. It is in your body as a very minute trace element. Okay. But it is so important. Um, however, we don't store the excess zinc. It has to be consumed daily. Oh. Yes. Okay. Which again, our government has stepped in and fortified a lot of our foods to include zinc. So okay. our innovative Was this a good thing? It 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 is for those who don't have an innovative. Okay. I mean they're getting their trace mineral, just not a full daily allowance. Okay. Because of, because of the synthetic. Correct. Okay. So um Zinc is important because it's actually found in several of our biological reactions for, um, as we know, just in, for example, simple digestion is a matter of enzymatic reactions that it allows your body to process the food and absorb it. Right. Well, in this case, the body is doing it on a molecular level, not a macro level as our digestive system. Mm -hmm. So this is needed for immune function, wound healing, blood clotting, thyroid function, and many, many more other functions is necessary for zinc. Okay, just to clarify, so you're saying the innovative complete zinc is the natural form and it allows it to do all of these things. Correct. Whereas the synthetic, synthetic form will not it, it have a zinc. It does not have the best effect. It will do the job. But, but not it's efficiently. not efficiently. Okay. Right. Okay. It's just not as efficient. Okay. So, um, zinc might also have some effects against viruses. Yes, I have heard that. Is I that not that. so cool? Yes. yes, and in this day and age, please let us all have some... A little bit of zinc for me. <laughs> yes, against viruses. And there's no way to have a toxic level of zinc. It is going to dis expel everything you don't need. Okay. So, um, here's some other little cool fun facts about zinc. It produces your gene expression, which means... My genes have expressions? They do. They do in what way? So, your gene expression would be your color of your hair, your eyes, your skin tone, your teeth, and how they're in your mouth. And okay. everything about you is based on gene expression. So, you, my hair color could change? Probably not, except to gray. Thank you. <laughs> Just the one I wanted, right? We've already formulated all the expressions that we got. Right. However, during development, having gene expression is going to determine whether or not your baby may or may not have a mutated cell. Okay. Which could be another an abnormality, disability, you know, things Something like, that they don't need. Right. Things like cystic fibrosis, you know, could be the outcome of not enough zinc something of that nature. It's, so you would want to make sure that you had zinc. Okay. Absolutely, during the pregnancy stage, for sure. But let's talk about what it does for us right now. So it is necessary for all these reactions. Over 300 metabolic reactions depend on zinc. And what are they? You want me to list all 300? No. <laughs> Just touch on them. So it actually is basically... These enzymatic reactions that I'm talking about has to do with how we're using the minerals and the vitamins in our body and being able to produce the energy and not store fat. Um, yeah, and I don't all of need these to things. store any more fat. Thank you. <laughs> Another thing is, is it's really important for our immune health. I'm not sure. I think I actually mentioned that, though, for zinc. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, important for protein synthesis because of those uh, reactions that are required yeah. to change the protein conformation to cause its function. I don't know if we know this or not, but proteins are long strands of molecules. They go on and on forever. Then they twist up and they create a shape. That shape determines its function. Oh. So if we change that conformation because of um, a synthetic... When you say conformation... Confirmation is just the shape and the use of the molecules at the molecular level of the protein. I'm talking about past the cellular level. We are in the bottom line chemical dots of how these arrangements are. And each carbon attached to this protein is important for a function. Okay, so 
if we break this protein in half because of a synthetic product, now we have loose carbons. Oh. We've discussed those loose carbons being our free radicals. Now we also have loose hydrogens. We've got now a lot we have of loose stuff in our bloodstream because <laughs> of these unnatural forms. Okay. But obviously our bodies learn to deal with it. But gosh, wouldn't it be great to be efficient with your body? Yeah, and does that also affect the liver? Because I'm, yes, the liver has to work Toxin. a lot harder. It, it, it does yeah. work harder trying to minimize these toxins. And then it makes your thyroid work harder trying to reduce those radicals because all the radicals are going to get eaten up through your thyroid by those iodines. Okay. The iodines that you don't want too much of. No. Because then they become radioactive too. <laughs> oh, I don't want to be radioactive. Thank you very well, much. I'll be glowing. <laughs> well, I like the glow, just not that type. <laughs> no nuclear glowing. Thank you. <laughs> so, and the other good thing is, is it's uh, very helpful with your wound healing. We've talked about the growth and development. Um, and then it is also needed for your sense of smell and taste. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. I, I so the, the cells in your nose are the olfactory nerve cells. These olfactory nerve cells function by using the zinc. Without zinc, they can't fire. They can't work. And if you don't smell, you don't taste. If you don't taste, you don't smell. Okay. And guess what? You don't enjoy your food anymore. And then you wind up overeating because you don't feel satisfied. Ah, I did not know how that connected to being overweight. Okay, thank you for um, completing that circle. Yeah, so we're going to move on to selenium. I'm sure a lot of people don't find or think about selenium in our body and the importance of it. Um, and again, this is using the natural form, selenium methothonine. And this actually is an amino acid. An amino acid is our building blocks for proteins. Wow. Okay. Without proteins, we have no cells. Well, that's not good. Right. So, the selenium pay plays this essential role in many biochemical reactions, especially used as a cofactor. Cofactor enzymes actually have to work together with a number of molecules. Without each cofactor, the molecules don't do anything. They're just hanging around. You throw this selenium co molecule in there, everything works and attaches and starts doing their job. Well, that sounds a lot more efficient than not having it, right? Exactly. Okay. And a lot of our, our minerals that we take from over the counter actually includes the synthetic form again. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, and again, because of what it does, it actually reduces your free radicals and um, enhances your uh, cellular structures, reducing the cellular damage. Yeah, so maybe our skin doesn't look, look as old. Yes. <laughs> Back to we that all want to look a little better. Skin. So another cool part is, is how this works. So um, it supports your thyroid. Some studies have showed that thyroid function um, is supported by the selenium, which can contribute to the general feeling of well-being. Um, just the all good feeling, you know, that you're in balance. Right, instead of feeling cranky and out right. of sorts, right? And then it also supports your immune health. The selenium uh, supports your white blood cell activity and the development and the growth of these in the memory cells. There oh. are memory cells for your white <laughs> blood cells. It helps them remember what sicknesses you have so they can fight them again. Ah, okay. Well, I did not know that either. Right, super cool. Here's another cool one. It is a healthy, um, it, it provides a healthy cholesterol level for management. If you take up to 200 um, micro milligrams per day, um, this can help you ma maintain the healthy cholesterol where you have your LDLs, your HDLs, your VDLs, your triglycerides. These are all of your fats. Triglycerides, we went out the door. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so this is going to help support that in helping utilize those fat cells, utilizing those triglycerides into a way of being efficient and not being a waste and stored for nothing. That sounds like a really good idea. Yes. How about copper glutinates? Um, super important for your bone health. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's just huge. It also provides is a huge antioxidant which your antioxidants is your 
eater of your free radicals. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That's... And so how many things have I said eats up your free radicals in this one patch? Yeah, this one patch. And by the way, guys, here's my finger on this patch. It's one oh. inch by one inch. Let me show you. I actually had a patch on and went in the sun. No tan line. Oh, that was what you. We were I tried. About that. I yeah. had. It was right here. I do not have a square, people. I was. Not everybody wants to walk around with squares, okay? So I had to try it. I wanted to see what it would do. And I look at the patch and I say, it looks like a mesh material. Maybe the sun won't so much be filtered away. I, it worked. I don't have a tan line. All right. So I know we that's will not silly, recommend but... that as a sun protectant. No. <laughs> Do not cover your body with patches thinking you're reducing sunburns. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it also helps increase your energy level. And again, how many times have I said energy level with this one patch? This is the complete patch. Mm -hmm. This is not your innovative energy. This is not your innovative <laughs> patch one or two ignite. Um. So with all of that said, this one patch is complete. As they it's named. named it. Yeah. I mean, ideally. So your cytochrome C oxidase, it is a that is the coenzyme that we were talking about in the last slide that I forgot to mention. Anyway, this also the copper glutenate mm. helps with the activation of this uh, cytochrome oxidase. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, and it's super important for cellular respiration. If we don't know what cellular respiration is, it's actually the creation of energy for the cell done by the mitochondria, which is this organelle found in our cells. Mm -hmm. Super cool stuff happening in here. Okay. <laughs> I must have had that deer in the headlights. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to move on on that one. <laughs> Sorry. I'm getting a little too technical and I don't mean to. This is something I know about and I love it. Yeah. I'm just I, I fascinated. Um, and manganese. I like that you can explain it because I didn't want to have to do that. <laughs> right? So, my mispronunciation earlier, we finally are with manganese. the manganese. Um, this is the most significant benefit in it for your bone health and support for antioxidant activity, healthy blood sugar level, um, management of your medical metabolic support. Um, it also is... I said that. Uh, protects against the cellular damage by reducing the free radicals as the antioxidant. Um, and it also is a central nutrient and involved in many of your chemical processes. Once again, we have a lot of reactions going on in our body. In order to keep it going all day, every day, there are so many reactions and it just is so dependent. I know you've got to go. She um, has a child to pick up, so we're going to wrap this up. We are going to wrap this up, but we are going to come back, and I can't wait to finish telling you more because how about there are another probably 15 slides that we haven't hit. Okay. And, I mean, that is a lot, you know, considering the information I've just given you. You may need to watch the video once or twice just to be able to intake it all. It was a lot of information. It was. But it was good. All right. So if you know of anybody that would like to hire a good researcher in her field, please contact me and I will forward Amanda your information. But um, please contact me if you have any questions or would like to learn more about these patches or the person who shared this video with you. Thanks a lot, everybody. And I hope you have a super sweet Thursday. And thanks for having me, Lisa. I really enjoyed it. I don't know if I showed off too much or not. <laughs> oh, I, we were going to have fun with this. We decided that up front. It was fine. <laughs> it was fine. And I hope you all left some comments for Amanda. Let her know how good she was. She did. And Thank of course, you. if you're watching the replay, you got to put the replay in where you replayed from. There you go. Y'all have a great day. Thank you guys so much for having me. All right. Bye-bye.